I've been wanting to get my vacation videos posted for quite a while now. However, I have a big problem. Yeah, I know, you're looking at M2TS here and you're thinking that's got to be it still. Actually, it is not anymore. I have completely solved that problem thanks to this. This is very, very nice. It was a great find, although it took 14 hours to find. Yeah, software searching needs some serious improvement. And boy, do I need some serious improvement. But anyway, so once I've converted those M2TS files over, I have AVIs. No problem there either, because that's what I'm expecting, because that's what I wanted. However, my problem is not conversion, but rather, it's not editing either, it's playback. Now, how can playback be a problem? That sounds strange. Okay, just to give you an idea, I'll pick one of these at random. Okay, black screen. Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Fun video? Hmm? Well, that's not the problem. What the problem is... Well, first, I want you to do two things at the same time. Should be easy enough, anyway. I want you to watch this, the time, and I want you to listen closely. Hmm. Ready? Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think you probably get the idea of what my problem is, right? And if you haven't noticed, this was updating about 250 milliseconds every time instead of the expected 500 milliseconds. Yeah, it's basically playing at half the normal speed. Half. That is the problem. Hmm. To give you an idea on this particular video, I'm going to go into here so I can show you what the resolution is, since it's the only way I know how. 1920 by 1080. That's HD standard, pretty much. 1920 this way, 1080 this way. There's a gap right here because, well, my display resolution is 1920 by 1440. Hmm, there's a difference there. And just to give you an idea on what the frame rate is, 29.97. That's an NTSC standard. So basically, everything is standard as far as HD goes. So, why can't this play back at normal speed? That's quite a mystery. So, that's not everything, though. How about my Platform Masters video, the one that involved Air Taxi? Same thing. Watch this and listen. For a while, there has been a gap between what World 6 and 8 are. Well, okay, did you hear the start, stop, start, stop, start, stop like crazy? And noticing that this was playing about 85% as fast as it should have been? Hmm. Well, that's what my problem is. And just to give you an idea on the specs on this one, 1024 by 768. This is my game's natural resolution. However, this video is a little different in regards to this. 60 frames per second instead of the 29.97 or 30. Hmm. Okay, well, 60 is actually the game's normal drawing frame rate, so it makes sense to do that. Of course, 960, which is what the game can run at, makes no sense. So, now I'm just leaving it basically at that. So... Has anybody got any ideas? And just to give you an idea, okay, so you're thinking virtual dub's got to be the culprit, right? Actually, I'll show you another program. Okay, combined community codec pack. Um, pesky thing, come on, get back. There it is. Okay, I want you to listen closely here. I'm going to open one of my recent files, and this is that HD video that I was just showing you. Okay? Now listen. So smooth. So non interrupted. There's no start stop or anything like that. It plays back perfectly smooth. There's no problems with it whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, what about my Platform Masters one that I'm telling you about? For a while? There has been a gap between what World 6 and 8 are. Well, here it is. Air Taxi. Well, no problems there either. Nice and smooth. Very smooth. I'm actually quite surprised how good this video came out that way. 
So, hmm. So if that program is not is otherwise working perfectly fine, then it's got to be something with virtual dub. So okay, I went through all these settings and stuff like that, and preferences. Went through all these here, tried this, but none of every I've tried everything I can think of, and absolutely nothing seems to ever work. Which kind of points to virtual dub having a small problem. This I'm not too sure on though. Not yet supported. So I don't know on that one. Playback. Of course, well, that's audio. It doesn't help any. So, what do I do? Of course, that combined community codec pack, that is not meant for video editing. Virtual dub is meant for video editing. And that's actually what I'm recording, using to record this very video with. So, okay. And here's something even weirder yet. Are you ready to learn what the weirder thing is? Okay. You would expect that video recording is very demanding on the system. But get this. I can record complex scenes even faster than I can play back. Huh? That's illogical. That makes no sense. And I'll even prove it. Platform Masters. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. And I'm going to change world to something that's really complex because of the rain. And I'm going to let this thing run. And I'm going to move around and do things like that. And get this. This is 1024 by 768 resolution that you're looking at right here for Platform Masters. But something about this doesn't make sense. I can record this complex scene with all this rain and stuff like that. I can do that at 60 frames per second. No problem. And yet, I can't play it back. It's illogical. It makes no sense. How can that be? Recording is supposed to be so much more demanding than playback. So, something is weird here. Does anybody have any ideas what's going on here? Because it makes no sense at all. Yeah, I've been working on various other things, such as that clock icon there that's animated, but I'll get at that a little later when I get this otherwise done, if this is any hint. But I can record this. I'm actually recording this here just fine, and I'll have to go play back the video and stuff and look at the individual frames to see if there's anything dropped. But usually, there's a good chance there's nothing dropped. And playback, well, I'm expecting slow. So what's going on? Has anybody got any ideas? Any assistance would be very nice. Anyway, this video was created by Alilalia. Thank you for watching.